As much as I try to create a perfectly curated luxury collection, I think the concept of a perfect luxury collection is actually a moving target. I think we all know that life is all about changes. In fact, this year I'm experiencing quite a drastic change with my lifestyle because I'm on a break from my day job. Besides, as we grow, it's only normal for our tastes and preferences to evolve as well. However, there are certain luxury items in my collection that I've had for years and despite all the changes throughout the years, I still love them. So they are truly timeless for my wardrobe. So my first timeless luxury item is my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25. Now I know some people are moving away from logo and monogram, especially because quiet luxury is trending at the moment, but I personally still really enjoy the Louis Vuitton canvas for the same reason I bought this bag for, and that is the durability, and dare I say, the versatility as well, because I find this bag very easy to style. I used to wear this bag a lot, and this is a bit like a Mary Poppins bag for me, because even though it looks quite small, it can fit so much, I can quite comfortably put in a water bottle, an umbrella, a small iPad, a book, and all my other daily essentials. As my designer handbag collection grew, I've been using this bag less, but I'm always very glad that I bought this bag when I did. These are my Gucci sunglasses. I bought these more than 10 years ago at the airport, and they remain my most worn pair of sunglasses. I like them because the design is really simple but flattering, and they complement all my outfits. There's nothing too extraordinary about them, but I just really love the way they look on me. So I always carry them in my bag and even when I travel. I'm really happy with my closet at the moment and I enjoy wearing everything I own. However, my clothes are relatively new compared to my designer handbags because for a long time, I was really confused about my personal style until the last five years or so. In fact, I've decluttered a lot of things that I bought in my 20s. But the one thing that I've been enjoying in the last 10 years and more is my Burberry trench coat. I've mentioned how versatile this is. I can wear this in the autumn with a light sweater. I can also wear it in the winter with a thicker jumper. Sometimes I even wear this in the summer with t-shirts. This looks great with dresses, formal attires, and casual outfits. I don't know about you, but I personally get a lot of satisfaction when I make good use of my pieces because I feel like that is the whole point of shopping in the first place. And for me, this Burberry has been worth every penny. When it comes to luxury shopping, I went through a lot of buying and selling designer handbags before finally decided to explore the fine jewelry section. And now jewelry is an essential element in my wardrobe. In fact, I'll go as far as saying I got more value for my money with certain jewelry pieces than any of my designer handbags. For example, I've been wearing my Cartier Love Ring every day for years, and this is now quite a personal item for me. I also bought this Van Cleef necklace, and this is the Sweet Alhambra in rose gold. I used to wear this every single day, even in my sleep or in the shower. And when I travel, I always have some jewelry pieces on me as well, but I don't necessarily use my designer handbags to the same extent. Anyway, when it comes to fine jewelry, Earrings have been my favorite for a long time, so when I started dipping into the world of jewelry shopping, I made sure to invest in earrings before anything else. And some of my oldest pieces are my Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra in onyx and my Tiffany & Co diamond earrings. In the last two years, I've been really enjoying the diamond earrings from Idol. They only feature lab-grown diamonds, which, by the way, have the same sparkles and physical properties like mined diamonds, but they are a lot more sustainable because there's no mining involved. I absolutely love how their designs can so effortlessly elevate my daily pieces. 
If you just want something really simple and classic, the diamond studs will be perfect for you. But if you are in the mood for something a little bit less conventional, Idol offers a lovely selection of add-on pieces. As you can see, even though everything is really dainty and minimal, they really do make a statement in a very classy way. I love everything I have in my collection, but I do want to give a special mention to this Eden. I wore this in my last video as well, and a lot of you have been asking about it. Something else that I really enjoy about Idol is that you can build your collection slowly. So if you're quite new to fine jewelry, maybe get the simple diamond studs first and later on when you purchase the add-on pieces, you're still maximizing the value and the versatility of your everyday pieces. So make sure to check them out. In terms of small leather goods, I've been curating the things I carry with me. So because of that, I've been transitioning to smaller and smaller card holder. For a while, I was using my Louis Vuitton mini coin purse and my Chanel mini O case. And then I transitioned to my Chanel classic card holder. And now I'm using my Mulberry, which is very simple and minimal. However, the one small leather good piece that I've been using very consistently for the last many years is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. This carries all my daily essentials, such as my lip balm, hand cream, tissues, sunscreen, perfume optimizer, and so on. And I use this very often, apart from the days when I wear my mini handbags and I need to save some space. I've mentioned how much I appreciate the Louis Vuitton canvas. After using this for about nine years, I want to say, I can now see some wear and tear on the hardware, but the canvas is still looking pretty brand new. And to me, that is really impressive. There are certain elements here that I'm really happy with. And because of that, I've stopped looking for more actively. I think it just goes to show how important it is to purchase the right pieces instead of compromising because it might actually be more cost effective in the long run. Anyway, one of those perfect pieces for me is my Rolex Datejust 31, which I've had for nearly nine years. This is my only timepiece, and I feel like my watch collection is complete even with just this one watch. This is really classy and timeless, and for me, this is the kind of watch that goes well with any outfits. Now, I'm not sure if it's an age thing, but this watch has been growing on me more and more. There are two other elements that have been my unicorns, and because of that, I haven't been browsing for more. And they are my Acne Studio Boots and my Roger Vivia Flats. I don't often buy the same thing in different colors, but when I do, it tells you how much I enjoy them. Now, I do enjoy having some variety, but if I have to really downsize for whatever reason, I'll quite happily have my Roger Vivias as my summer shoes and then the Acne Studio Boots as my winter boots. I feel like shoes are very tricky to shop for because first of all, the sizing can really vary between brands. And on top of that, you want them to look nice and most importantly, they have to be comfortable to walk in. And for me, these shoes fulfill every criteria. The Roger Vivias are simple, lovely, and very versatile. They really do complement many outfits I wear. I've been doing some browsing, but I can't seem to find these on many luxury websites anymore. It looks like the pointy toe version is more readily available. As for the Acne Studio Boots, I swear by them. The pointy toe is so flattering and the heels give me just the perfect support. And I can walk in them for hours and hours without feeling any discomfort. So you could say, if I lost everything today, I know exactly what I would repurchase for my shoe collection. The Lady Dior Medium is something I've had 
for more than 10 years and I've always enjoyed this more than my Chanel classic flap. I'm keeping my Chanel flap mostly because of the prospect of luxury price increases but the Lady Dior is something I actually enjoy reaching for and I think it goes quite well with my personal style. Over the years, I've been gravitating towards smaller and smaller handbags but despite all that, I always think the Lady Dior medium is the perfect size. If there's one thing I would change about this bag is probably just the opening. Mine is the old version so the opening is a bit tight but to be honest I got over that years ago. Sometimes I do think about how I might downsize my luxury handbag collection because I do have a dream of traveling for months at a time but I think the Lady Dior would be one of the very last ones to go if I ever downsize to that extreme. The last ones might not be considered designers or luxury but I've been using them so much in the last 10 years and I think they deserve a mention and they are my Longchamp Le Plage in the size large. So this one is in a dark navy color and this one is in the classic black. These are so lightweight, durable and practical. They take up very little space but you can fit even the kitchen sink in there. When I was a lot younger, I used to buy a lot of handbags from the high street brands but they were not very well made or long lasting so I kind of wish I had consolidated my resources and bought one Longchamp bag instead. I think a Longchamp bag is an amazing element for any wardrobe whether if you enjoy having some designer handbags like myself or if you just want a very minimal capsule wardrobe. Let me know if you agree with this but I feel like a Longchamp bag is something that we kind of see everywhere but somehow the commonality doesn't take away its charm. So those are the timeless luxury items in my collection. As you can see, I've had certain pieces for more than 10 years and they continue to grow on me. I've always said luxury items are not financial investment but rather they are wardrobe investment. The way I see it, if an item is well made, long lasting and if I enjoy wearing it again and again then it's a good purchase. I would love to know what are the pieces you've had for more than 10 years so please leave a comment down below. That's it from me. Thank you for being here. Take care and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.